Hey everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day. I first of all want to start off with an apology. I said that I would do a one week post-op vlog and I forgot. Actually, I was really busy. We had our granddaughters this past weekend and they are eight and five and they kept us busy the whole time. So, and then our daughter had a volleyball game which was a really big deal because our school is undefeated well her grade is and so was the school that she was playing well i'm happy to say that we are still undefeated so yay patriots they played an awesome game it was a very close game but they did great um i am actually i had this it was a week friday it's tuesday i am 11 days post-op so yes i am late for my one week and i am sorry for ones that are just tuning into my videos, I do have six others, um, but I'll just brief you and bring you up to date. Um, I got my first surgery done because I had my daughter when I was got pregnant at 16, had her on was almost 17. Um, I was small, 34A, 34B cup. I got a lot of stretch marks because I got so big after I had her. Um, and... I waited for many, many years, so I didn't get my surgery until I was almost 38 years old. I was 100% happy with them. They helped fill in some of those stretch marks. I actually have them kind of around, but I had stretch marks up here, and that's the ones that if you were a tank top or low-cut dress or anything like that, if you're um, going out somewhere, to me, they were noticeable. You could see them. Well, the, the implants, the surgery helped fill those in. You could see them, just not as prominent as they were before. So that was the biggest blessing and bonus right there for me was getting that done. Um, five years later, um, I've got my second one done, my revision. I went to a 34 D cup on my first one, saline implants under the arm behind the muscle. The second surgery that I just got I went to a 34 double D and I switched over to silicone implants behind the muscle. He went through the same incisions underneath my arm. With me already having pockets made from my first surgery, um, they didn't have as much stretching to do. I guess I don't know really know what they do. I can't watch. I watched lots of YouTube vlogs before my first surgery and my second one. I can't watch surgeries. I just not one that can stomach that stuff. So I really don't know how they go on there and make your pockets. But since I had one, that helped. But I also went larger. So even though my second surgery, I wasn't in as much pain as my first one, um, I'm still firm, not real, real, real tight like the first time, but they are still pretty firm. And I have been sore, so it's not like it was a pain-free. But um, at the most, probably my worst day, which was my second day, I would probably say a five was probably my pain level out of a one through 10 four and less other than you know on most days um i stopped my prescription within my second day i think i took one on my third day but i've been taking tylenol i didn't take ibuprofen or aspirin sorry i'm sitting on my feet and it hurts my feet um i didn't take aspirin or anything like that because it thins your blood you don't want to do that after surgery but every doctor is different so you do exactly a to Z, what your doctor tells you to do. Um, it doesn't matter what you see in all these other vlogs. We've, we've all had different doctors. They all do things differently. So you go by what your doctor tells you to do for your recovery. Um, but I have noticed, and I can't remember because it was five years ago, my first one. The last couple days or so, my nipples have been kind of sensitive. Like, I don't like the feel of them rubbing on my clothes or anything, which I'm not really going without a sport bra. I'm not wearing bras yet. Um, I've just been wearing sport bras, but it's because it's kind of comfortable. It's not kind of, it's more comfortable. But um, I've been doing some exercise where I just, I'm kind of, I'll push in on my sides and stuff like that. Um, kind of, I do the little walk downs. I mean, doctors t all tell you different ones. Some will send you home with a band. I had that the first time to help compress and push them down. I didn't have to this time, and I think it's because I had my pockets. So even though they had a place to go, I still got bigger implants, so they still have to drop and fluff, which technically what that means is because they're behind the muscle, while you're so tight too, your muscles are contracted and they're stretched, you know, to the max. Um, they have to 
settle in place. Once they get behind the muscle really good and they takes time, they drop behind the muscle where they're supposed to be, drop in place basically. When they do, they fluff. They just, they fill out. So, um, so even though I had it done, I will still have some dropping to do myself because I got bigger implants this time. So they will hopefully maybe just not take as long, but I'm still basically going through the same process. Um, I'm very happy. And sorry if you hear my dog. She's spoiled. I'm in here. She's out there. That's not the way she wants it. So she wants to be inside. But it's a beautiful day here in Indiana. So she's okay. She's fine outside. Um, but I got all most pads or most um, sports bras come with um, pads in them. I'm one that I normally will take out the pad and throw it away because I don't like them. But it's okay at the same time. I mean, you can't see it through your top or anything. But I'm keeping them in for right now because it's adding protection cover to my nipples. So they're not rubbing against my top. Like I said, I just don't remember being sensitive like that the first time. But I am this time. Every surgery is different. So your body's going to react differently. Um, I really can't remember unless I watch my old vlogs from my very first one. Um how everything went with my first surgery. I just know I was in a lot of pain. I was miserable on my first one. And I don't say that to scare anybody, but it's a traumatic thing for your body. You're cutting your body open. You're putting a foreign object in it. Um, it's got to take time to accept it and do what it's supposed to do. Um, I don't really have much to say. I kind of briefed you on what I had gotten done. Um... And again, I do apologize. I'm behind. I still plan on doing like a two week, three week, four week going through like that to the first month and then maybe just doing it once a month. And then when I get to my sixth month, I'll probably stop and do a one year vlog on there. Um, I might have an extra one in there too, because in about a month, less than a month, I go back to the doctor for my second post-op visit. The first one went fine. Um, everything looked good. Um, I did my stit, my incision, even though he went through the same ones underneath that he did the first time, they're a little bit bigger because, you know, when you get saline, it's empty and they like try fold that over and they can stick it usually within a small incision, um, slide in and then they fill it up. Well, now when you go through silicone, I wish there was an easier way to do it, but there isn't at this point, who knows, 10, 20 years down the road, but the implants are already filled. So they make that incision. Honestly, I think the first one is probably maybe an inch long, just maybe a little over. I mean, and it faded within six months to a year. I don't know. I didn't keep track of it. You could hardly see it. It was like a faint line, almost blended it with my skin. Um, but this time, honestly, it's probably like this big. I mean, they do have to make a bigger incision. Um, because that salines are, I mean, the silicone's already filled and they have to shove that in there, get it in there somehow. I don't know how they do that. I don't want to picture it, but, um, so yeah. And plus 750 is way bigger. How it was the first time I got a 505 CC and 465 CC and I went to 750 CC my second time. I don't think I said that a minute ago when I was briefing you on what I got done. So I do apologize. Um, I am able to raise my arms up pretty good still. But when I get to this point right here, starting about right here, I have like a pulling feeling. Not so much in this one. This one's better. But it, it almost makes, and it's not even my stitches, but it almost makes me feel like I'm going to pull something apart. I don't know. I think it's like my muscle down in here is really tight and contracted still. Um, which all that will take time. Um, I was really hoping my second surgery, maybe I'm just being or impatient. I do know I'm an impatient person at times. I was hoping, oh, this is my second one. My body knows what to do. I'm just going to get back right on track. Boom, boom, boom. It'll all be done. I'll be better. Well, it's a surgery still and my body's got to have time to recoup. So it's still taking a little bit longer than what I was thinking it was going to take. I was actually hoping I'd be softer already. First time I felt like a rock. This time they're just firm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still taking a little time, but the pain level, second surgery, nothing like the first. So that was a blessing itself. Um, I wish anybody luck that gets this done. Um, if you truly want it with all your heart, 
you're going to be so happy with the results. You're going to be so happy the way they look and how you feel when it's all done and over with in the healing process. Just understand that it is a very patient surgery. You've got to have some patience with it. It, it does take time. It's very traumatic what your body went through. Um, but yeah, there's, there's going to be stuff that I've wanted to say. Every time she yelps out there, I kind of get sidetracked, so I'm sorry. Um, I know I'm going to forget things that I intended. I should always just take notes. But even when I take notes, I don't know why. That's supposed to help organize me. Well, I still jump all over the place. So um, I don't know what else to put out there, but end up doing the surgery for one reason. One reason alone is because you want it. Don't do it for another guy, boyfriend, husband, nobody. Don't think it's going to get you a bunch of modeling, modeling jobs. Don't, don't do your stuff for the wrong reasons because if you do, in the end, when it's all over, you're not going to be happy with, happy with the decision that you made. And doing this to your body, spending the money, taking the time, going through the pain, the healing process and everything, you're going to want it for the right reasons. So do it for yourself. If it's going to make you happy... I back you up 100% because I would do mine all over again. I'm so excited with my results. So happy. I was the first time too. The only reason I got it done is because of the rippling that I was feeling underneath with the saline. You can get it with both, but it's kind of more obvious and you can feel it with the saline more than you can the silicone. So that was the reason that I switched to besides wanting to go bigger. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say. Um, if you got any comments, questions, concerns, put them below. I will get to those and answer them for you. Anybody that has anything negative to say, and I should have put this at the beginning, just like I should have said, don't even bother watching. Just swipe it over to the next vlog. But yeah, negative comments, don't bother putting them on there. I want to waste my time reading them. I guess I'm kind of with the old school saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Um... Words of encouragement. If you can't think of anything nice, you know, just just go on. Don't say anything. Not everybody agrees and supports plastic surgery, um, which that's that's fine. It's your each to your own individual feeling on things and how you f feel personally about it. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm getting to the point I'm going to start repeating myself or stumbling over my words because I get really nervous doing these kind of videos and stuff. So just kind of excuse the rambling a little bit that I do. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys go. If you do have any questions, just put them below. Everything will be fine. You will be happy. You will love your results. And like I said, and I will say this again, I have no regrets. None. So, and my doctor's name was Dr. John Akers. He is out of my plastic surgery group in Carmel, Indiana. Wonderful doctor. Wonderful staff. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. All right. Bye.